So, I, today is going to be interesting, to say the least, because it's, it's 6 o'clock now, and I have to have this video done, filmed by 8, and then start uploading super early, because tonight, we're going to be first in line to ride the new Star Tours number 2 at MGM. 12 o'clock midnight, first 500 people for the grand opening, there's like going to be free snacks and surprises. You guys will see that all tomorrow, because I'm not going to make you guys wait until like 4 or 5 a.m. to see a video, plus I need to work tomorrow, so i got to get home and go to sleep. But... Right now, we're going to film, uh, I haven't even figured it out yet, let's try to figure it out together. Or no, you guys just wait, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found something to do, it's all the way downtown, so we have to hurry. What do you say we get it started? So I wanted to talk to you guys about something. The other day, Thor says to me, he says, you know your, your mustache is crooked. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you know, it's like, it's not shaved right. And then I looked and it was crooked. How come you guys never told me about my crooked mustache? Did I fix it? Is it straighter now? Like you guys are gonna tell me? And here's something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I've always toyed with the idea of putting up a vlog that is unedited. And I wanted to see if you guys can tell the difference between an edited one and an unedited one. Leave a comment down below tell me whether you think this one's edited or unedited. And don't think just because like yesterday I don't have a ton of jump cuts, I was just cutting out all my breasts yesterday, that it's not edited. It still might be edited, you never know. Leave a comment, leave leave me your, your, your question, what is it called, your, your thought, what am I trying to say here? Your thoughts? Your guesses. Why couldn't I think of the word guesses? Down below. Well, it was my original thought to get down there nice and fast and early, but this is this is not looking so good at all. Where are you, train? There you are. At least it's going quick, right? Well, oh, shoot. I'm down here right now, and there's nowhere for me to park, but it's, it's like an art walk, so I can't really, like, show you guys any of the art because it's copyrighted material, technically, and I'm not supposed to do that sort of stuff. I don't know, let me, let me park and, uh, this is such a conundrum. I'm gonna do like a real quick drive-by filming here. You can hear a little bit of what's going on. There's some more, like, uh, those guys are just drinking beer. This is a little bit of like art going on on the side of the road here. Other than that, I, like I'm not seeing, and there's some, some food trucks. Yes, that is right. Orlando is hip enough to have food trucks. I am running out of time to do this. What the heck? Let me see if I can find something down here. Do you guys like how there was barely anybody out on the street right there, but I can't find any parking? Look at this. The streets are just like packed with cars for some reason. I don't even know if there's anything going on. There's just some people playing soccer out here. I don't know. Let's see if we can find a spot still. So while we're out here, I might as well show you guys this. You guys see this lake out here and, and all of its wonder? I don't know if you guys see the little ducks over there. They're like, uh, they're, they're paddle boats. And people like rent those out and go out on this lake. It is the stinkiest lake in town. It smells like dead fish nonstop. But people seem to enjoy it. We call them our swan boats. That's Lake Eola. And we have, there are black swans that live on Lake Eola. But at one time somebody killed one and they got sent to jail. Which, like I understand you're not supposed to kill animals, but this was just like, a senseless act of killing one of our state treasures or uh, city treasures. I am so far away from that lake now it's not even funny because it's all one-way streets down here so I have to go all the way down here to this street where the Fiat dealership is and then head back over the other way. And no, once again I still have no idea why we have a Fiat dealership here but we do. Okay, I spent 10 minutes driving around. I give up. The heck with this. I did, what the heck, man? It's a Thursday night. Why are the streets so populated with cars? All I wanted to do was find a parking spot and go for a little tiny walk. Let's go back home. I quit. Just on trying to find a parking spot. I mean, there it wasn't that as happening as I thought it was going to be. And it's taking me too long to find a parking spot. So, I mean, like, we had a little adventure in the car, right? Well, I figured I would drive through some random neighborhood and see if there was anything that I could find. So far, nothing. I did find a school. That's about it. It's a nice school. And uh, now we're d d leaving, I guess, going home. Harumph. All right, so I stopped by this here dock so that we could watch these people out here jet skiing. They're behind the trees now, of course. Wait, let's see, here they come. And oh, look, there they are, they're racing. It was pretty funny because they were just yelling at each other, because or one was yelling at the other because the other one was beating the first one. It's pretty funny. This guy see sure seems to be uh, sure that he won. Yeah. I hope they race again. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, there they are. Okay, I thought maybe they wrecked into each other or something. I was like, what happened to them? Because I got distracted by the story that this this railing tells me. Like, this guy's like Julio or Julie Blessing. I don't know what he says. Las Vegas to Orlando on Greyhound 199, 195, 196, 197. He says, this ain't nothing. Oh, here they go again. 
Go, go, go. Wow, this one guy's jet ski is way faster than the other guys. Somebody got ripped off. And then I think this is some sort of a picture of a toilet or something. I'd be super angry if I spent a lot of money on a jet ski and somebody else just pulls up and is like, hey, let's race, and then they blew me out of the water. Now, come to think of it, I might have access to a jet ski. You guys want to go on a jet ski ride? Not tonight. I mean, we got to go home and edit, but I mean, like, soon, one day, maybe? Who's up for it? Once again, another, like, parking lot full of cars, but there's nobody else out here. Where is everybody? Is this, oh, it's the end of the world, isn't it? I forgot about that. Now this is something that I asked a long time ago, and some of you guys that have been with me for a really long time, I went over my tattoos and I asked you guys what tattoos you have, and I wanted some video responses or some pictures on Facebook and or Twitter. Send me some stuff. I want to see what kind of tattoos. Wow, that guy's driving like a crazy face. Why the heck? You guys almost saw me get into an accident. So send me some pictures of tattoos. Now I'm angry at this Mercedes Benz that's driving like crazy. All in all, I have to admit, that was kind of uneventful at the same time. It was still kind of fun, though. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, just like in a couple of hours, really, is when, I mean, sort of. I'll see the camera in a couple of hours. I won't see you, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Scott's Adventures, and I watched the Tim Tracker. Now it's time to pay the price.